I mentioned briefly uh, earlier that my guest, Brooke Pulitua, has appeared on an ABC documentary looking at some of the work that Wesley Mission does in relation to mothers in our community. Brooke is a former model, the mother of three wonderful children, and has a loving and supportive husband. But in 2017, Brooke reached out to Wesley Mission and our people work with her. Good to have you on the programme, Brooke. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about how you came into contact with Wesley Mission. So um, it was basically a chaotic time within my life. And um, I was struggling in certain areas of just having to cope with obviously, you know, new kids and stuff like that. So a whole new, I guess, world. So basically I was um, introduced to the program by being um, basically introduced to a doctor. I was going through some, mm -hmm. I guess, depression and, and anxiety. Mm -hmm. And so they had referred me to other people. And so that's when I was approached by well, Wesley. It like you've got a good doctor that could Definitely. found yeah. where to find yeah. help. And yeah. I think we should say that because people have this thing about doctors and many of them just do yeah. great work really. Yeah. So they put you in, in, in touch with people. And where did it go from there? So basically it just became a really good friendship um, especially with um, Wesley Mission. So we, um, sorry, they got to come into my home and basically just help me out in certain areas and just kind of give me the support where I need it and yeah. what kind of fitted into our family and system. And some of that's very practical stuff, is it, yes. really? Yeah. Um, you know, people think, you know, a person's uh, got a challenge and it might, it's not always this huge, big illness mm. that somebody's got, but just coping with That's life, it, yeah. doing life as it That's were. That's it. I think it's just maintaining either your emotions yeah. or even, you know, just thoughts, but be able to be open about it, and even mm. to speak to someone about it mm. as well. Mm. And I guess at times we don't really want people um, to know about it or to know exactly what you're going through. What was life like in 2017? Um, it was tricky. I think I was definitely struggling in adapting and trying to juggle all areas and, um, we were going through a big situation with my daughter as well. So she actually has yeah. additional needs. And I think just trying to plead and I guess try and get the support that we needed in terms of understanding her. So that became quite frustrating as well. Mm. And having a, a little one um, who was a few years younger as well, that was also a new experience. So just um, having the time and just the coping mechanism in terms of you know, raising new children, but also children that had additional Putting it needs. into perspective then, tell us the, the impact on, on you that the help brought. Oh, it was, um, it was refreshing. It, it felt like there was hope. I didn't feel alone. Mm. And it kind of just, um, I guess, took the Band-Aid off a wound in a sense. It brought light to a situation where there was a bit of darkness. Was there a turning point in all of this? Yes. Yes, there definitely was a turning point. I think to be able to speak openly about it, it kind of felt like there was a bit of, I guess, um, just um, hope in that area, really, of just letting people know my story as well as, you know, help for our family as well. And, and when we've talked together, you, you were a tiny bit worried because faith is important to you, mm -hmm. how people might react to hearing that. And that is true, isn't it? Faith yeah. is a critical part of your life. Yes. Yeah, I think it was just, I think people suspect that, you know, with faith and stuff like that, that you're, you know, everything goes perfect or as a Christian, you know, you kind of, you know, yeah. soothe through life. Whereas there's a lot of, I guess, ups and downs at times, you know, yeah. you've got your yeah. trials as well. So mm -hmm. I felt a bit, um, I guess I just didn't want to be judged in certain areas mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I didn't want to be looked at any differently, mm -hmm. you know, or... Mm -hmm let my faith determine anything at that point, so, yeah. And when a person's kicked, they bruise like everybody else. Yeah. Just yeah. the fact you believe and you, you, you go to worship doesn't mean to say you're not going to bruise, you That's are. That's it, yeah. So you're facing those challenges. Uh, but Wesley Mission's Brighter Futures program really helped a lot. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. What are some of the challenges that have you've implemented into your life, the changes that you've done? What are the things that you've done practically? I guess it's more of an interaction with your kids as well. So I guess, you know, just really taking in those one-to-one -one moments, mm -hmm. enjoying the moment, not having to think about what's next or, you know, what, what's, what's happening next in terms of routine or whatever. I think just really enjoying the moments with them, watching them grow and just um, enjoying that season of life. And briefly, what does the future look like now? 
Oh, well, it's exciting. So we've introduced our third baby and he's only 10 weeks old. So yes. that's, that's a huge blessing. But um, I think, you know, we're a happy family now. And whatever comes at us next, I think we'll just take it and go with it. So, Brooke, thanks for being the kind of person you are and the, the mother that you have become and are becoming. Thank you. We're never finished, finished products. We're always being made. That's and it. we do thank you for coming along and sharing something of that. And it's good to know that a programme can make a positive difference Definitely. in somebody's life. Uh, I'm sure many mothers would be able to connect to that story.